WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of a very sunny and pleasant Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update. We've got a sea of red out there. All the U.S. indices that we track are trading to the downside. Dow's down 234 points, six tenths percent, eight tenths for the S&P, or 43 points, one and seven tenths for the NASDAQ, 317 point move there, six tenths for the Russell, that's 12 points, 89 points for the semis, that's down nearly 2%. You've got gold trading up nine bucks, silver up eight pennies like we crude up 64 cents natural gas is effectively flat and the 30-year treasury up one point and six ticks put out at 120 and a quarter let's try to figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel market update chart we begin with the es mini today's candle formation if we were to close like this that would be a three river evening star candle formation that would confirm a roads momentum indicator top wave number seven is at yesterday's high as long as yesterday's high is not taken up that would be a wave seven top so the es mini generating two topping patterns that suggests a test of support for the es mini that test of support would be in the 5052 to 5024 zone out there Spot Baltonix is trading above its 50 day exponential moving average. The 50 day is at 1382. Uh, the uh, price of the VIX is at 1422. A close above 1382 shifts the uh, um, gives the edge to the sellers out there. In the case of the NQ, it's pulled back nicely. That pullback is testing support at the moment. Support being between the range of 17,793 to 17,924. This is a bearish structured daily profile. If it's only a counter trend move to the downside, where the NQ will find support is between that zone. Again, 17,793 to 17,924. US dollar index is testing the support of the bottom of its daily profile. That number's at 103.66. We're trading right now at 103.60. We get a close below 103.66. It could be signaling a change in trend. Gold is trading above yesterday's high. That's a bullish outcome that suggests a run to the highs that formed back on December the 4th could take us up to the 2058 level. Silver's now gotten in the game. It closed above the top of its daily profile yesterday. It remains above it today. That suggests that it should go target its most recent high from back in December, somewhere between the 2461 to 2511 area. Light Sweet Crude has a new profile. Resistance is at 7935. The high today, 7949. Support, 7734. The low today 79 11 we got a consolidation in light speed crew between that profile natural gas completed the one-to-one -one move to the upside of its a to b equals cd pattern only a bearish reversal candle would suggest caution otherwise this should continue to move higher out there folks please stay tuned for the trader's ed show but if you have to start your tuesday please have a terrific one thanks for joining us and we'll look forward to speaking with you again soon take care now